Let's be honest, icebreakers rarely feel like something that breaks the ice. It's like, how can we take this meeting that nobody wants to go to and make it even more awkward? Oh, I know, we'll do an icebreaker first. They're usually just something that we tolerate before the official meeting starts, and not everyone is excited about them. But is there a way to make them more than just a box we check off before the real meeting begins? And what does this have to do with Draw.io? I'm Eric with Draw.io, and in this video, we are reimagining what icebreakers can be using Draw.io's interactive features and live collaboration tools. I'll show you how to turn these warm-up activities into something meaningful where everyone is engaged barriers come down and collaboration starts to flow right from the first minute. So let's get started or let's break some ice. You, you saw what I see? First, I'll show you how to set up a collaborative icebreaker board instantly from a template using Draw.io. These boards are fully customizable and easy to share, whether it's from a quick get to know you session or a fun team building activity. Then we're going to explore creative use cases and add a personal touch with the freehand tool in Draw.io using the layers to keep things organized. Finally, we'll embed these boards into Confluence to make them part of your team's central documentation. First, let's set up an icebreaker board in Draw.io. First, we need to create a blank board in Confluence. If you're new to this, don't worry, it is super easy. Just navigate to the page where you want to place your icebreaker board, hit forward slash and start typing Draw.io and select the board editor to get started. From here, you can either use one of our pre-made templates or design your own layout. I'm using the Get to Know You board template for today's tutorial. You can find a link for it in the description below. This template includes a mix of question prompts, sticky notes, and font icons that the participants can interact with. To get the board ready for your team, you can customize the questions. Think about what will resonate most with your group. For example, you can ask, what's one thing that you bring to a desert otter? Or if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Mine would be ab man, by the way, where the less I work out, the more abs I got, but I digress. Dun -dun 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 ab man. And then I would just like, they were like, oh, where you get those abs from? I'd be like, mm. <laughs> now we're gonna out, sucker. Once your questions are set, use layers to organize your board. Layers let you lock the background elements so participants can't accidentally move them around. Instead, they'll only be able to interact with the sticky notes and editable areas. Setting up your board like this ensures that your team has a flexible but structured space to contribute. To enable layers, go to the hamburger menu in the top left corner and hit the drop down where it says layers and then click. This will open the layers dialog box where you can create and manage your own layers. Or you can use the shortcut Command Shift L to bring up the same menu. From there, you can create a new layer and name it and lock it by clicking on the lock icon. And you know what? This free hand drawn tool is just sitting there like, coach, let me in. Because this tool is perfect for breaking the ice in a visually engaging way. So for example, let's say you want the participants to express how they're feeling about an upcoming project. Instead of just writing it down, boring, ask them to draw a simple icon or doodle representing their mood. I said doodle. It could be a thumbs up, a rocket taking off, a cup of coffee to show that they need an energy boost. With freehand drawn, team members can create sketches right on the canvas and place them in their designated area. To keep things organized, make a boundary using shapes and lock down those shapes in a separate layer. This method makes the activity more enjoyable and encourages people to express themselves in ways they usually wouldn't in a regular meeting. And live collaboration means that everyone's working together in real time, making the icebreaker feel more like a shared experience than a solo activity. And since Draw.io is already fully integrated into Confluence, all you need to do is hit the publish button and your diagram will be saved directly onto your Confluence page, keeping everything right where your team needs it. By embedding your diagrams in your Confluence page, you're making them part of your team's single source of truth, ensuring everyone's voice is heard and remembered. Before we wrap up, here are a few quick tips to ensure that your icebreaker activities are a hit. Set clear instructions. Explain the purpose of the icebreaker activity up front so everyone knows what to expect and feels comfortable participating. Use clear start and end markers. Let your team know when the icebreaker begins and when it ends. This is especially important if people are contributing live and in a smaller group. Debrief after the activity. Encourage participants to share one thing 
that they learned or enjoyed doing the activity. You can even create a separate section on the board for feedback. Just drag over a sticky note and jot it down. Keeping these best practices in mind helps your icebreakers not just break the ice, but actually build connection and set the tone for the rest of the meeting. So there you have it. Using Dryo can transform your icebreakers from awkward time fillers into engaging collaborative activities that bring your team closer together. Whether you're looking to boost team spirit at the start of a sprint or welcome a new colleague, I hope that these interactive icebreaker tips were helpful and help you unlock some creative ideas. So give it a try and see the difference that it makes. And if you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out our other videos on team collaboration and diagramming with Dryo. And as always, if you have not yet tried Dryo, you can try it for free for 30 days. Just head over to the Alassian Marketplace. Until next time, Abman is out.